Now in this lecture we will discuss about Virial equation. For real gases we have many equation of a state. One equation of a state is Van der Waal equation. And this equation is P plus A N square by V square B minus N V is equals to N R T. Now this equation is even not valid for real gases at high pressure. Is not valid. at high pressure. So, we have many other of equation of a state for gases. Has been given. One of them is Virial equation. Now, from our statistical mechanics, it has been proved that. Equation of a state of a gas of a real gas can be expressed as a power series of One by V M, where we have V M is molar volume. That is volume of one mole of gas. That is molar volume is equals to volume of container divided by mole. So, this power series we can write in terms of P into molar volume So, from a statistical mechanics it has been proved that we can write this kind of equation for real gases this is a power series of 1 by V m that is polynomial in 1 by V m. Where we have B, C, D are constant and these constants are function of temperature. So, B C D is a function of temperature. Basically, Virial equation can be derived from Van der Waal equation.
this equation is basically virial equation where VCD are called virial coefficients. So this is second virial coefficient, this is third virial coefficient, this is fourth virial coefficient. So we can derive virial equation from Van der Waal equation. Van der Waal equation we have if we take n is equal to 1 mole then corresponding volume will become molar volume that is volume of 1 mole of gas. So we can write this equation in place of volume we will have molar volume So we can simplify the same equation so P is equals to RT by Vm minus B minus A by Vm square or we can divide by RT this side so throughout we divide by RT Now if I take Vm common here, here also we can take Vm common and then we can take Vm this side. Now PVM by RT is compressibility factor. So Z is equals to PVM by RT. This is compressibility factor. So we can write Z is equals to 1 minus 1 by VM minus A by RT VM. Now this term is coming from molecular attraction and this term is for molecular repulsion. So you see here in Van der Waal equation this term is for molecular attraction A by Vm square. Now this term that is high value of B if molecules will have repulsive then B value will be high because volume contained by the molecules will be high that is B is effective volume of 1 mole of molecule. So if molecular repulsion is there then this term will be high. So this term is for molecular repulsion this is for molecular attraction. Now here we will use B by Vm that is much much less than 1. So V is called Van der Waal constant. And Vm is molar volume. So molar volume is much much greater than B. So this term will be less than 1. So we can use one mathematics here 1 by 1 minus x is equals to 1 plus x plus x square x q up to infinity and this is true when mod x is less than 1. So we will use this result here. Now in this case b by v m is x. So we can write Z is equals to 1 by 1 minus X. So X is B by Vm. So we can expand this term 1 plus X 
x is b by v m so b by v m q and the final is minus a by r t v m now we can collect the term of 1 by v m at one place so we will have b minus a by r t and the second term we will have b by v m whole square similarly third term we will have b by v m whole q similarly we will have another terms Now b by v m is very uh, small, so b by v m square is even very uh, small, b by v m q is even very uh, small, so we can neglect this term, that is this term c is basically equals to 0. So we can write z is approximately equals to 1 plus 1 by v m b minus a by r t. Now we can equate this from virial equation. So if you see virial equation is z is equals to we can write z is equals to p v m by r t that is z. So virial equation is this. p v m is equals to r t 1 plus b by v m plus c by v m square. So, p v m by r t z is equals to 1 plus b by v m plus c by v m square. Similarly, we will have other terms. Now, we can equate this equation and this equation. we can say the second virial coefficient b because this is the coefficient of 1 by v m here we also we have 1 by v m here also we have 1 by v m second virial coefficient b is equals to b minus a by r t Now let us say this equation more, so we have z is equals to 1 plus 1 by v m b minus a by r t. If temperature is high, we can neglect this term or even if pressure is high, we can neglect this term. So, pressure is high or temperature is high that is pressure is directly proportional to temperature PV is equals to NRT. So, pressure is directly proportional to temperature here we have. So, either we can increase pressure or we can increase temperature. So, if I increase temperature this term will go to 0. So, this means this will have this is positive term. So, we will have z is equals to 1 plus b by v m So, in this lecture we discussed how virial equation can be derived using van der Waal equation and then we said the second virial coefficient is b minus a by r t if we put the second virial coefficient is equals to 0, we get the boils temperature and at this temperature gases behaves ideally. So, whatever with the gas, it will behave ideally. So, this is independent of nature of gas molecule. 
that is z is equals to greater than 1 now pressure is low or temperature is low so in this case we will have z is equals to 1 plus 1 by vm if temperature is low a by rt will be high so b minus a by rt is negative so we will have 1 minus 1 plus some negative number so finally in this case we will have z is less than 1 we can have another condition that is z is equals to so this term 1 plus 1 by vm b minus a by rt we can also have a temperature when this term is 0 in that case z is equals to 1 so when we have z is equals to 1 this means this term is 0 that is b minus a by rt into 1 by vm is 0 so from here we can say b minus a by rt is 0 so t is equals to a by br and this temperature is called boils temperature so t is equals to a by rb or br is called boils temperature that is Tb is equals to A by Br so this means at boils temperature gases we have ideally so when we have high temperature z is greater than 1 low temperature z is less than 1 z is greater than 1 low temperature z is less than 1 and we have temperature that is a by br we have z is equals to 1 so this means if temperature is greater than a by br we will have z is greater than 1 if temperature is less than a by br we will have z is less than 1 so we can say if temperature is greater than boils temperature that is tb is high t is high we will have z is greater than 1 if temperature is less than boils temperature we will have z is less than 1 when temperature is equals to boils temperature we will have z is equals to 1 so we have three cases